Let's add one half plus three eighths. And when we're done, I'll show you an easy trick to check your work. So starting off, we need to get the denominator, the number on the bottom, to be the same. We need a common denominator before we add one half plus three eighths. To do that, I know that two goes into eight four times. So if I multiplied two times four, that would give me eight, and then I'd have a common denominator. But I have to multiply both the top and the bottom by four. That way, I don't change the actual value because four divided by four, that's one. I'm multiplying by one, it doesn't change the value. But now I have four times one is four, four times two is eight, and then I'll add the three eights there, and that gives me four plus three is seven over eight, seven eighths. So one half plus three eighths, that's seven eighths. And if you look at one half, that's 0 0.5. Four over eight, that's also 0 0.5. They're the same, it's just we've changed the way it's represented so we can add those denominators. Let's quickly check our work. So what I can do is I can multiply one times eight. That gives me eight plus two times three. That'll give me six. And then two times eight, that gives me 16. So I end up with 14 over 16. If I divide both of these by two, 14 divided by two, that's seven. 16 divided by two, that is eight. So we get the same answer, seven eighths. When you add one half and three eighths, you get seven eighths. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.